very first time that I was introduced to goalball was actually in May of 1999. Um, I was a participant at a sports education camp at Western Michigan University through the uh, Michigan Blind Athletic Association as a chapter of the USABA. One of the great things about that experience was after my very first game, um, one of the, the guys that I played with, the very first game I ever played goalball was one of my current teammates, John Cusco, uh, on, on the USA team. And he, uh, he came up to me after the game, he's like, you played so well. Like, I think they're going to want to take you to, to Florida uh, to play on the Michigan youth team. And I was like, whoa, you guys go all the way to Florida for this? Like, <laughs> so from there, uh, I started going to regular practices at Western Michigan U University. I was, I was really lucky to essentially have a program right in my backyard. Fortunately or unfortunately for me, there was Paralympic caliber level athletes at this practice, multiple. They really didn't show me a lot of mercy, <laughs> but it pushed me to, to get better very, very quickly uh, all, to the point where a short two years later um, in May of 2001 was when I first put on a USA jersey and played for the, the USA Paralympic team. I, I think that alongside my faith and my family, uh, sport has been just a, a capstone, a, a keystone to, to my, my being, my personality. You know, it's, it's something that um, allowed me to, to strive for greatness in. It's something that um, challenged me day after day to, to be better than I was the day before. It's something that gave me a community of people to connect to, um, people that I could relate to who were going through some of the same struggles that I was going through. Um, it gave me an opportunity to travel and see the world and see some really cool things and, and experience a lot of cool things. Um, it gave me opportunities to, to face down challenges that uh, m you know might have been daunting in the past. You know, once once you're uh, on the the gold medal stage at one of the most prestigious events in the world, you know, a, a simple job interview doesn't seem so daunting, right? So it put a lot of things in perspective in my life, and I think allowed me to. Uh, to excel in a lot of ways. I found a group of people, a, a tribe that um, basically said, yeah, you have these challenges, but you have opportunities as well. So don't squander these opportunities just because of how difficult your challenges are. And, and they helped me work through it. And so for anybody out there who is watching this, who thinks, yeah, I'm visually impaired. This means I, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this. Maybe those things are true, but there are a dozen things for every one thing you can't do that, that you are able to do. Um, so I would encourage you to reach out to the visually impaired community. Find some peers, find some activities that you can do because you are more capable than you realize.